Kusini, it's Monday. Um, I'm Koko Lerato. I'm Koko Kandale Mbube. Very interesting topic. I don't think we're going to finish it today. Um, and Umkulu came up with a brilliant plan. You know, he just put a table and desk for me, a desk and chair for me, so that I could actually just hold up my phone. Um, I hope I'm holding it properly. What an interesting topic we're going to have today. It's going to be very controversial. Um, but like I always say, you know, these topics are meant to provoke our thought processes. They are meant to awaken us in the true sense. They are meant to propel us to love our gifts. Um, and they are meant to push us also Um to understand certain things and none of these none of these topics can actually be looked at in isolation all of this is like background knowledge and you you're going to knit them together togozani let's pray uh let's pray today um <clears throat> Jesu Kriste matla uthi wena khanya le fatsi wena re bulela nditsela ra o meme wena morena modimo ya matla uthi ra meme wena ntate modimo wa le hodimo ra o bitsa wena mme wa le watle ke a le meme ka o fela bong go le mo ntate molo manyelo e gutlontse nne tsa le fatsi ha be wena tla bua morena modimo ya bopileng tsohle ha be wena o tla gantsa nditsela Jehova ha be lona bong go le bo ntate moholo le lona manyelo e ba ntseng tsohle ba keteletseng pele ba botseng nne o yaka ke phamisa tsohle ho lona bo ngone bo ntate moholo ke bitsa wena monga wa neo ya ka Jehova ka sebile ke le bitsa le matla Jesu Kriste amen so today i started my prayer um ka le bitsa la Jesu um and i know you know i i, I it may also look a, a bit like but why because uh, she she agrees or doesn't agree with the bible but like i said the purpose of these topics is to knit the gift together regardless of where your gift is whether um profeta or um goma these things they work hand in hand so firstly i'm just going to go through my analogy uh we are the differentiations of god I know it looks like I'm I'm repeating the same thing but it's absolutely important. I'm basically drumming this into anyone and everyone who gets to watch my teachings that we are the differentiations of God because that means that there is never a time when we're walking outside of the realm of the divine. That means there's never a time when we cannot summon Badimu Barona when we cannot connect with our higher self you know with our source it is the reason why we are given these gifts um to to remember that we are differentiations of god so today's topic um self twasing what is to self twasa i mean is it possible to become a self initiate through dreams you know i hear a lot of people you know speak for this other people speak against this um but i think the biggest thing that i want to do today actually is to speak about bungaka in general because i think that's going to give us the the background context or what is it all right and particularly today i want to speak about bungaka tshupe bungaka tshupe it's ka tswana ka sotho ke a bungaka chicha a ngesixhosa it's ikhwele amaqhwele a nesinguni hore ka sizulu ke magela all right and what i read today was so interesting that one of the first recorded healers um i think was in nigeria as well so interesting 
um, I think it's the, I don't know, I forgot that, that, that phrase, the type of healer that work with water. And I'm not saying, Hore, Nakatsupe, Iberaka, Kamitsi, Fela. Right. I want to actually specifically say this. There is Muprofeta, informed by his tunya, informed by prophetic, prevalent water spirits. There is Umgoma, informed by earth spirits, and then collecting all the other elements. Right. And then you get Nagatsubi. Right. Ke'in. What is Ikel? Right. Nagatsubi. Um, I had a wonderful prophet a year ago who gave me the definition of Nagatsubi. He was telling me that I'm moving out of Umguni and into Nagatsubi spaces. And I had such a hard time removing my beads. I, yo, it was a problem. And the definition that he gave me was that ngaka tupe means ngaka e tupang. Okay, let's use English. Ngaka tupe is a healer that expresses, that is self-explanatory. It is through the deeds. It is through watching their life. Even before they know of this gift. That gingaka wa itsupa bungaka batemba itsupa. It's it's not necessarily kore bwatwasiwa. So what is that? What what does that mean? Um kore ngaka itsupa. You know how are they different to every other healer? Firstly. Ngagatupe itwasa situ sayon. Bungagatupe, funny enough, is directly linked to your blood ancestors. Uh, Bungagatupe is a great grandmother, a grandmother. It is an inclination to have some type of spiritual wisdom. Right? It is an inclination. This type of Bungaga is clear i think for all those around you as you run your life now why why would a person be given bungagatsupi a that person could be somebody that's normally the most typical reason uh, it connects you to the ancestors of that land which is why bungagatsupi is prevalent you know, it's, it's, it's easier when you trust your own people. Keba dimu or bohosi ba muti o. So, Nakatsupe would be a descendant of Amakosi directly. Directly. Nakatsupe, even when you look at them and their personalities and their challenges, one of the biggest challenges that Ngagatsupe would experience growing up is not an identity issue. They generally do not go through identity issues with regard to who they are. They go through issues of their position in the family. Ngagatsupe Khangata is Kabuyene. We would call, let me say, you could really easily define Nagatsupe as somebody who's having endow spirit only. Okay. That person, I'm guessing that's where, you know, if we had to have Impande Yamandao, that person would probably need to go to Mpandeo. Because Mundawating normally is so greatly uh, coiled, coupled. Libadimu baka munkung. Mundao actually is Lihuzila Munkun. Um, Lihuzila thing does not differentiate to say, here's a Nguni spirit, here's a Ndao spirit. Mutwa thing, normally, they've got a very high level of intuition, right? And how would they see this when they are young? I mean, how do you see a child, Hore, Hore, 
a child unalubunga katsupi children like that in general um they are intuitive but again you know how could what's the difference between bona limgoma because mgonoma has gone through a lot of emotional pain from the family um those are the early stages early signs generally ostracized by the family mgoma is generally ostracized by the family whether they grab naughty or whatever wash up you and about it king and then what they generally do is they start to keep quiet and become very withdrawn that as a that is a mgoma child when you see them they are generally very withdrawn children and they are children that with time they struggle with their voice and to manifest things outwardly to the world right what's the difference kanga katsupi kanga always 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 gets into trouble go gai but it's always a way of cultivating their gift most dating kanga katsupi ke bana ba stout aba mamel they are very naughty kids they are naughty kids they are not visibly bubbly but bastot ke bana ba leng gore one of my my boys is like that and i think it lo banga katsupe um my son you could give him a brand new airplane i don't know what his hands do you know next thing go tswa di springs in that airplane and now understand gore what happened it was a brand new one he can undo a lot of things with such ease right Um so those are children by no core generally um especially when we are parents to them we struggle to connect with them because these are children it's like they have their own beat um they are not very sociable children um they talk um but ba ba ke bana ba buwa but ba ba bua le batho ba ba tlaetseng and they take time to warm up to people right Mgoma child would also generally be able to do that but Mgoma child in general yeah na you know labwa le batho and things like that u bantu e bueng aba thola a tswa mo dilong ngwana nga ka tshupe once they get to become familiar with particular people then you know they 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 just continue so bonga ka tshupe they are very 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 um intuitive and they experience adult situations when they are young why this is their lozy propelling them preparing them for the realities of life these people kid realists right and badimu baba one baba it's a realist they give them the hard realities of life so that ba khone gore le bone ba understand gore mo ke mo lefatse Nakatsupe is I think one of the most the most real people um the most intuitive. However, here's something that is very interesting that I've seen with the trendia dinga katsupe that I get to read In general, they don't necessarily have a way of describing the source of their gift. Ntateng how motsa gore you know um do you believe in badimu do you believe in what they are generally very open they will never say they will never subscribe their gift to a particular spiritual entity some yadinga katsupe they find it very difficult to connect with what we call isos maybe because they've never had the description um to them you work for what you've got you pray you give thanks and you share Um I think also because ile ba tiba ile gore ke bana ba ba dimu and that are supposed to hold a particular position go hai they normally become the sponsoring child they normally explain it become the sponsoring child normally the the financial the emotional the psychological um responsibility of le khaye they automatically just take um that responsibility on themselves i don't know whether it's thrust upon them but 
it's something that it's it's like normally they are the first people who bereka and haba bereka ke bone ba le nga ka tshupe o ibona ka di plastic ke a bone ka first pilot say so first salary they don't need to be told ba profeta rona our first salary we're going to blow it at a club we're going to have a lot of fun um so dinga ka tshupe are generally very home oriented it's this glossy that it's like they're getting blessings because of the things that they do right. Now, I try to think and imagine in the Bible who would be equivalent to Ngagatsupe. And I would say the prophet Ezekiel. You don't really see any mention of his parents. You don't really see any mention of how he this gift of his became to being it came to being what it was this guy was not a king um most of ezekiel and you look at even his prophecies it's ngakatsupe style in the sense that i don't have any real background of ilozi of him having to do any offerings of him having to do anything you look at prophet ezekiel um it's like Mudimu just decided to come to him, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. I just tried to read up on who the parents by Ezekiel were. And the only thing that I found more Google was that it is presumed that his parents were old people, right? Uh, because in the Muslim uh, text, Ezekiel is actually referred to as son of old man. Wanamutsufe. Right. And Hangat Dingagatsupe have that very same thing. The, even their parents have gone through a lot in life. These are generally people that I think would also be raised Kibo grandmothers. People hang at the Baba Fu and the responsibility to how is Kibo Kukubaboni. I don't know why. Um then in general they, they would have Ubukeza. Um they have a direct link, Namatluza Abu Apilayo. So they never really need to be taught ethos because it is, it's like they just presume that position where they take care of and it is, it is within them. Their dreams and even, even their messages come through their parents. Hence, I'm saying, Uti, Ike lagash lagash. Linom dao o o more prevalent. And I think that is why most of the time, Ike la alitwas. There's been a, a lot of arguments, and I've heard, you know, people, you know, say that, Amake la yatwasa and that. Um, but the reality is, why should they? from day one. Igela is very decisive. These are people who can make hard decisions. Igela is a strategist because or they've been given some type of spiritual inclination. So why would Igela Nagatsupe why would why would Nagatsupe need Rotwaza? Le twasa thing. Right. Um, my older sister, uh, from my father's side, King Akasupi. And she is a religious person, believes very much in her religion. She came here for to to see me as her younger sister. And even before she had twasat, the week of my graduation. My older sister phoned me and she said to me, there's going to be a choice between the gift that you are going to eventually graduate. And I see that there's a prevalence of the ancestral gift, but I want you to light up candles in a particular way, at a particular color. This was somebody who was in a, in a, she is in a, in a, call it a secular church. 
how would she be able to perceive uh, a vision that I was shown in a dream? As it was. Um, Nasa Twasa, she had done nothing. And Ankinsesa Toro, she interpreted the dream that I had had a week earlier, and I did not understand what that dream meant. But she gave me the remedy to that dream. Right, so I was just so, I was, I was dumbstruck. And on the day of my graduation, she brought me blue and white and glass and crystals and that. Nothing um, about what she had brought symbolized uh, Isintu. I was graduating Isintu, but I was graduating as prophet as well. But at the time, as prophet was not something that I fully connected with. Like I've always said, I, I thought which is prophet is not proper gift. And when she arrived, when she arrived by virtue of her presence, um, a lot of things prophetically made sense. So what I'm trying to say is my older sister, by virtue of her gifts, her gifts aligned me to the true gift that I was given to begin with. It was after she came that I realized that I was actually a prophet all along. And she, she didn't need to give an elaborate explanation, you know. So normally, intuition is very, very, very clear. And when she came a week later, because um, I, I could see her, she's got, you know, and at my graduation, um, the following day, I'd taken some of my family members, go meeting and that. And she explicitly said to me, not right now. And I, and I said to her, you know, why? And she couldn't explain it to me. But I realized when she came two weeks later that actually those gifts that she had brought me um, in the Ili Dikika, in the Ili Bunga and she needed me intuitively to align with that gift before I could open it for her. It was just the craziest thing. Right. So, um, Ikeda is, is just, they're a little bit, um, it's a bit complicated, uh, because we would say, but not the dozi that wants or the dozi that works. Yes, it will align with uh, right? Yeah. It can align the body babang. So if you are ikeza, you can definitely have abanguni. Laba funuk twasiwa. Right. And nabo they are just there to add on to your gift. Maybe to give you perspective. Maybe even uguti masse utwasa, you will understand uguti you are going through a spiritual transformation. But sidimusa butube. As it was, so it's an alimundao. Gabo sona, gimundao. So, you know, now it takes us to tabaya self twasing. What is that? Um, what is it? Uh, I know a lot of healers, we are against this, and you know, I, I hope today to put it in context, right? I want to say this today every healer, every healer. Unless if only Igel. I might get that most of the time they don't have a lot of dreams. They dream of what they need to dream, and it's normally an instruction. Most of the time their intuition going But when we go to Tabaya self twasting, every healer, Ibonsiwa Muditorong. That is why it's important to have a dream journal, right? That is why it is important, Uktandaza Upatla, right? Um, that is why you've got to do all of this. Even Epechweni, when you are not dreaming, there is a problem. Even when you even when you've had um you, you've had um Indwas or whatever, when you are not dreaming, even Linna after I'm done Hotwasa, 
when I spend too long, Kisa Lori, there is a problem. So, gotcha, gotcha, we are all shown our spiritual gifts through dreaming. Actually, the dreaming, I would say, is is tunya ori umgunyuako, the fundamentals. And without those dreams, it doesn't matter what your gobele can tell you, right? There's got, there's going to be issues. There's somewhere where you are not aligned. So, am I saying that people should twice it through their dreams? No, it's physically not possible. Right? You can, you can twice it through your dreams. But only if you will know how to interpret that dream in the morning. And only if you will be able to interpret that dream and apply it. Now, that's where Ipeflo comes in. Right? And that's where Abanguni, um, that once would live that's where um it comes in where you will have a gobella or somebody who can help you to apply your dreams help you to to interpret your dreams help you to do what your Josie wants so actually ugobela is a facilitator Ugobela cannot really ever make or break your gift, ever. Right? I used to have, I used to believe, Uguti, even Ugobela should not akipela mapai, but I had a very interesting, uh, I can't call her my twasa. I had an interesting few days with another lady this past week. And it was interesting because when she arrived on Wednesday, she arrived this past Wednesday, and by Saturday, uh, she she had left, right? When she arrived, I asked her, did you see anything on your way here? And she said to me, umkulu, umkulu wa mutengi zelapa. She is Zulu, um, prophetic and ancestral. And I thought, well, what am I going to do now, you know? She just said to me, Unkulu ute ulungi se yongi into. And when we, we, we started with the drums, uh, the drums, Zase Zayon, Umgun Wake, was Pumela, Numda Wake. But what I'm trying to say is, she, she came out, this lady, in three days. Having her losses inform her. And I remember, I, I like I'm saying, th that's the point that I was trying to make, that I'm generally not a firm believer of ukipela umuntu ibai like. But on Wednesday morning when I woke up, her people started to shout at me and I couldn't understand why. Why? They were saying I'm not doing what I should be doing. They don't have time to waste. And then I looked at Ipailake, uh, Lingonyama, eh, Limnyama. And it's only then that I realized that, oh, okay. Umkulu wake uye umgoma. But abo koko, gashe gashe. Kima kele. Kima kele kena nkereke. So... After we went and we got her a white cloth, Ningonyama Mflope, her things opened up. Everything of her started to run itself. She was never taught Ditaula. She was never taught anything. We just did what we asked for. Right. So that is why I'm saying, Hore, Gobela is basically a facilitator. Gobela is only there to understand the messages of your dreams. Nothing more. Nothing more. And now that Ribuaka self twasing Libukeza, now the question becomes how is an initiate's period of time of initiation um, quantified? Why can you stay six months, others a month, others three months, others a year? Um, 
And I will say this. My husband and I have been running an experiment. Um, and I hope one day I'm going to share this. Once I get to my 50th twasa, I'm going to share this. It's going to be very interesting. Right. Considering that Sidimu is the one, Baba Khotwasi Sang, the majority of the time that you are actually a Pehweni, how is that informed? Right. How is that informed? Um, more so when you look at Amakel, as I said, they could be just or or last profit, by the way. And Badimu Badingakatsupe, they are flexible. They are not looking at they are not particularly looking at a means to an end. They are not particularly looking at um Hore Utwasa Yang. Badimu ba dingakatsupe, they have got their way. And their way hangata, it goes in line with the tradition of the family, right? Um ba 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 they they wouldn't need Hore Batu Mutwaboni. Um and I'm trying to say phrases right because I don't want to be misquoted. They wouldn't necessarily need Hormutaboni Ayete Dilo in um in a way in Horbatoban Bayit. Um most of people that I've seen by Ling Dingakatsube, Amakela, they generally evolve on their own. And actually, every healer evolves on its own. Or twasa your whole life, by the way. I'm still twasing. Right? Um, and maybe that's why by Dimu Babang, especially by Nohore, they are surrounding a person unaling a gift, Yabu Gela or Bungakatsube. That's why there'd be more than just one Yabadimu because now Hotlak inya Oangakatsupe can pull in Mguni, then Mguni can not bulanditzela. Like in my case, um Utame Wilo Twasa Bungoma whatever. Or Utame Wilo Twasa Sporofeto. Right? And then Uberkeka whatever diwasho or di chare. And then nakwaiya. Nakatsupe Ele starts now to come and make itself known. Right? And let me say this. In general, people abonubugela, ubukele, are meant also. This gift is one of the gifts that um, is also for their own well being. For their own well-being. Like I said earlier on, normally these are people that are leaders of the family. So these people are stewards for the resources, Tabadim. Right? So chances are Ubugela, if the family or Badimu Ba the view Buprofeta and praises, or they view family and marriage as prosperity, Likela Le Lamuchai will be married. You must be. Right? From my paternal side, our grandmother, Wangakatsupe, she requires that. Ubata linyalo. Some of them is that Kibunga Katsupe, Mobatwe, the Lang, Pili, the family, uh, through Hulukisa, to take care of the family financially. Then you become a financial steward. They will, they will en enrich you financially. They will show you how to do things financially. However, that money means oh, you're going to have your sisters, your aunts, your cousins, your whatever, knocking on your door. Cheleteo is not just for you. Right. Um, and hangata dingakatsupe, they're a combination of these. Where marriage, uh, um, will be connected with building your, your legacy, will be connected with building the dynasty of the home, will be connected with protecting and taking care of the home, and all of that. Normally, it's a combination. Now, uh, uh, just let me let me have one minute. My battery is flat and my charge is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, now it is. 
Let me tell you guys of an interesting story that I, of an interesting experience I had. Linga Katsupi. And this one, um, take it whichever way you want. It doesn't matter if it doesn't align some. This one I want you guys to get. Right? Because is is there and like I'm saying, bunti babone ke batu bako bokosi. And I had an agatupo who came to see me last year, and he came with the wife. And he had issues with his mother. Right, he had issues with his mother, and it's past pains. Right, and when he came here with the wife. The wife was given a prophetic gift as well, right? He was struggling to connect with his gift. Uh, everything had been done for him. And when we came back from Komitsin, the grandfather, Wakakawangakatsupe, said, they will not release the gift to him because his marriage is not at a place of peace and also the wife belittles his mother the wife belittles the mother-in-law um and the granddad Wangakatsupe was saying, I want to give you the gift. And that gift, Itloba, that gift is going to be transferred also to your wife. So it's going to be broken down into profit or to your wife. However, I can't release this gift whilst you are disrespecting your mother and allowing your wife to disrespect your mother. Because the logic ya yamkulu that the mukulu was opekula yang di chaba when msamawaka is not complete. So to go zan hangata bungaka tupe also is very closely linked to umsam. Right. And while he didn't agree um, with me, but he had gone everywhere for Hutwasa Stwana, Hutwasa Ditaulata Stwana, and all of that. Um, and he left, and he didn't even get what he needed to. It was the first time he won someone's gift, because what the Mkulu said was, go home and go and give mom a gift, and go and apologize for everything. And Makoti was actually asked for Wena, Okenakai, because Utilemuka do come. And I thought to myself, why? You know. But the answer was simple. Makoti is there to enhance her husband's gift. Right? She is there to support the kingdom. And through her supporting the kingdom, She'll be given a prophetic gift to be able to see certain things and to be able to pray about them. Right? And connect um, with her husband's people. But the way that their relationship was structured to the Zozi, it looked like Muno Uhulagango. And that was a problem. All right. I saw another Mkulu saying, Ikeza is a herbalist. Yes. Ikeza is a herbalist, by the way. Um, Ikeza dreams or by intuition connects with certain plants. Goes, Willow, Willow, Chika Muriana. They can also, I think they're also Dingakatelo, or they can anticipate someone coming. 
whether it's virtue of the prophetic gift or it's by virtue of the plant itself. Uh, I've seen my girl among, they will go and be inspired to go and find a particular plant. And when they come back, um, there is a patient that wants that plant or that needs that type of remedy, right? So I'm just giving the fundamentals from a badimu or a kamukhai point of view. Yalikel. Why are they the way that they are? Right. We are going to go um, next week into why or how Ubugeta connects this prophet and why they are so deeply connected. Right. And then Ubugeta, Mabutanga, and Nobungoma. How does that work out? Right. Um, if you think about it, is prophet uh, is to you specifically. Um, you can go use pagamisa or use twasis or use twas, right? In a way, we are your volumoya, right? Uh, nomguni as well, we am twas. So, this goes back to what I was saying with the that can have opening spirits, but gashe gashe is those the eligazayo, it's is those the lasekaya. Elinom Dao combined. They are combined. Right. Most of the time, Amagetha don't have beads. Unless, then they will put on beads because of the combination spirit. Amagetha, most of the time, you will see them, Gaditsipi, uh, Mumatsoho. Some of them put on, <coughs> literally watches, jewelry. Right. If you look at the Bapostori women in Zimbabwe, because we would say it's a church, but these ladies and these men have got a gift, their mates, Zhuang. Unless if Baparamisa is Tunya Sabo through the church, but even if they do that, they keep on going to this church. It's not like when we Twasa is Tunya, then we are Puma. They keep on going to this church. And their gift of healing with pure water, eventually, and not even herbs, and prayer. Give a that thing. Because they connect to the source, and their source, actually, yeah, that's what a bukele is. They connect to their source, whether it's through idlozi or what. And the source is the one that informs the gift. So they can actually forego imiti eminini. And most of the time, they don't use imiti emining. They don't use decombination. They literally, something as simple as a bangle, to stabilize you. You know, you, let me say, I've got umguni and I'm, I'm ill and that. Um, or I'm struggling with my root chakra. That's what... Um, the Eastern, the Eastern teachings would get, would say, would call it, um, Nilo Islam. Igeza would be the person to perceive that in Zimbi, on both your hands, minerals will ground you. So, Nilo Zilako will connect to the earth by walking barefoot. And, Umdawako, Numgunwako, Yos Pagamel. Most of these people that are, I, I heard, I think two, two weeks back, it was a lady, she's like a medium. Mediums also, I believe, they are foundations. Um, Bungagatupe is not only, or Ubukeza is not only Uksebenza Nyemiti. Ubukeza is to heal exclusively in your way informed by Izlozi Elikezayo. Right. So that is why or how some people are gonna lose profit or Um so it's it's a bit complicated, but actually that is the simplest form of a gift. And I believe it's one of the purest. I believe it's one of the purest. Um I believe it's one of the purest, right? Um 
I would also like to say that it's also one of the most ancient. Because if you think about it, the first traditional healer on earth, Utwasiswekeman. So that means that healer was Ikel. Right. I read today also about um, different types of healers. Right. Um, was trying to find out about the difference as, you know, Ikel and, and, and that. And Abangunya and what I have seen and what I've recorded. I was just trying to Google to just try to piece things together. And what Google had to say was that you get Umgoma and then you get Inyanga. So Inyanga has got many, 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 many um, different ways, right? There was another thing that I heard, I read today was that Okradi Nyanga Tzababelechi midwives spiritual calling towards midwifery right what are those people because you have you have experienced it you've lived it you have gone you know right and it's actually some of the gifts that are not really much they're not mentioned a lot today a lot of the reasons why we trust is not mentioned and we don't know this. And I think that's why sometimes you get caught up in the terms. Um, we, we get caught up in the terms. Uguti, you've got this, you've got that, you've got this, you've got that. Ugutwasa uh, would be to look at the process of becoming what you want to be. But Bungagatsupe is, I think... Uh, it's not even a process. It is just being. It is just being, right? So, I hope this is going to help you guys. Next week, I think we want, I'm going to talk about Bunga uh, Gatsupe, List Profit Combined, and why. And then Obukeza. And why? And how normally they they show themselves. Today I was just covering and I was actually a bit everywhere. I was covering the basics um as to why we get to you know why Ikeza and why, you know. I'm actually also I'm going to say this and I do stand to be corrected. I do stand to be corrected. I have never heard I have never heard. My gela normally by Dimbabwe they are very quiet actually. And I um I had a lady, she is like my older spirit sister in spirit. She came here to us and we had we started talking two years back and I was like I hope I get to help this lady to Twaza. She's amazing. Right. But she is Ikeza. And when she came here, we tried to do the drums and the pala and what. It was like a bailing up home. Uh, it was like a bailing up home. There was no mkuba. Instead, as we sang and we, I could feel myself heating up. She was just burping. Right. She was just burping. Even her name was a name on her ID. It was like I wanted a name on her ID. She was actually named about, uh, she was actually named after Ngagatsube. The person that she was named after was the Ngagatsube. So it was just so interesting. To this day, this Gogo, I respect her highly. And her gift has taken many, 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 many um turns this gogo she evolves in whichever way she likes right she's gone from ubungoma to the taula to she's now at mediumship and astrology and numerology it's just crazy it's just crazy um even her clothing um is very odd um, and I feel that probably what her people wanted to teach me uh, was that, you know, a spiritual gift can take 
any way, any way that it wants to. And to this day, um, I guess because I've got a strong prophetic gift, that's how we connected. Uh, but yeah, now even Umuti, she, she doesn't write Umuti down. She wakes up and she gets told Imiti the name. And sometimes she'll ask me, you know, what does this muti do? And I say to her, listen, I can only prophesy what it does and what it looks like. I've never heard of Muria Nobil before. So what that was another thing that I wanted to say that it was the only case I normally learn on its own. Ali me like the way that we expect. Right? Because it doesn't need to make a war cry. It doesn't. This is this is not necessarily a Lozi that has gone through EMP. Right? This is not a Lozi that needs to be a warrior. Maybe this Lozi, like I said, Kilabuchos and Batuabuchosi, they never had to go into war. They had, you know, their strategists, right? And that is Hangata also when you look at Ikela. Ikela normally these people they are strategists. They understand the balance of life and the balance of power. One last thing, their only vice, it gives us only vice, their only weakness is that they struggle with the identification of right and wrong in this world. Mindset is crazy, right? But it's because they know that the yin and yang together, they come, they combine. To them, right and wrong is a matter of of interpretation right um it gets i would let me show you let me say a big difference a prophet you know would heal you through prayer and cleanse you and and pray but they would speak against you having had an abortion it gets i simply doesn't have the time to look at the right or the wrongness of that, you know, and I think that's why I love uh, that gift. Habana nako. To them, they understand that life is always free flowing, and that what a prophet would call an abortion and murder, to them, it is spirit having moved from one face to another and back. So to them, an abortion is a spirit moving to this life and moving back to the spirit realm. They don't have issues with that. That's why they'll give you umuti to cleanse yourself by and in whichever way that they see. They are totally without judgment. All right. So, um, I don't know. There was there was there was a gogo a year ago. Who, she was the first person to tell me that I've got a gift, but I don't know. All right. I don't know how to identify myself. I just know when I see okay, right. They generally don't have a, a, a gift of right and wrong. Um, and by the way, their gifts litoni um normally di aparo li but it's the dosis that surrounds ubukeka. If dosis lekwele can easily wear its own clothes, but but then they can easily wear their own clothes. Um, and that's why color white normally iba iba easy color white and color red. Normally it, it becomes very easy because they connect with the universe at every level, right? And everything to them kitaula, and everything to them is a message. And even the way that they twasa, um, from my experience, I've never had it get that I twas this up completely. They come here, bafuna, whatever that their people want, by a tata, by a hamba. They go elsewhere, they take what they need to go where they go, by a tata, by a hamba. Whenever Ikeza is a petweni and overstays their welcome, always, it always happens that way. Always, always, always happens that way. So, um, I've got two minutes. Um, Next week, um, I hope to continue Ubu Geza and the differentiation of how each culture uses imit. This is going to be very interesting, right? Um, 
and I also hope to touch for yes profit so how do they work and why do they function that way right I will say in closing what most people by what they are being told that they've got both a prophetic and an ancestral gift actually and sometimes it disguises itself because of maybe the the power elements the the the, yeah, the power dynamics between the closes and which one gets to open the gift and how the close is going to work. Um, we're going to talk about that hopefully next week. Tokazane, I was fumbling today. I was waffling actually uh, because this is also one of my favorite topics. Um, right. So, hey, I can say we're going to Facebook, you know, uh, Legaditor, I can see, but um, I think Lerona as healers, let us encourage those who dream. Um, let us encourage them to go and see Okobela, but make them understand that there is an aspect of them that needs Kotwasa. Not the complete the complete gift. Uktwasa for them, especially Amakela, there is only an aspect. There is only an aspect that they need from a pathway, right? So let us really not mock them and say that these are people who twasa through dreams and that everybody twasa through dreams. If you don't have dreams, you got a problem. Right. Um good night to everyone and Today's topic, I think it's something that most people have not touched on. And I hope everybody will feel um, we say that they are we say that it's a special gift, but I think they don't get the right recognition. Another thing that I want to say is that in general, Bonne, there are not people babbling able to function under a lot of noise and um being cast down. You know, Rabafirkanya, they don't need that. So Let's be a supportive community to them. It's a very lonely road when you are Ikel because you you can't really relate to anyone. So I hope that this is going to give you all that have been told that it's going to give you the courage to just step out, step out and say, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to be okay. So, to Gozani, to everyone, um, yeah, to Gozani.